Hi, welcome back to Genuine Core. This is another video in Library Management System Development Tutorial Series. And in the last video, we have seen how to edit a book. And if we make some edit in this field and uh, press save and go back, like uh, suppose I set this to Dan Brown 2, then I close this, then that change is not reflected here until I reopen here. So there are two options that uh, I can put a call back and whenever I close the uh, new window, I can refresh this or I can simply add a refresh button here. So in this video, I'll be adding a refresh button in that context menu. So first thing first, we have to add that entry in booklist.fxml. So here I have uh, edit and delete and above that, I'm going to add a refresh option. So uh, I have edit, delete. I need this in the portion here. This here. Yes, I got it. Now uh, I'm going to change that text edit into refresh so I can refresh it. And here, in, instead of handle book edit option, handle refresh, I'm going to give the method name as handle refresh. Then coming back here, booklist.fxml and making the controller, I will get one more function called handle refresh. Now let us see how this thing is actually fetching data at first. So there is a method called load data that is called from initialize when we start the program. So what I want to do is I want to call this again load data. So things are very simple. I just have to call this load data right from here. So if I call load data when I click on handle refresh, it will fetch all the entries from the book database and it will be added into the observable list. Then it will set the table view to this list. The one uh, one and only one issue is suppose we are call suppose we call this once when we initialize the program and when we are calling this again, we are actually adding the entries again and again into the same list. So there will be multiple copies of the same books. So in order to fix that issue, I just have to use this this dot clear that has to be clear so it will clear all the entries from the list then start fresh so let's read <coughs> i'm going to run it so it is gc root then here in save view or book section we have refresh edit and delete option so if i press refresh here nothing is happening because nothing is changed i am going to change this option here harry potter so edit then Harry Potter and Order of the Phoenix, J.K. Rowling. Save, book updated. Then I'm just closing that. It is not updated. I am going to press refresh and you can see that Harry Potter and Order of the Phoenix is there. And uh, that's pretty much about uh, the refresh part. And one more thing, it will be much better if we when we close this edit dialog, we can automatically refresh our table. So we don't have to explicitly call the refresh button. So that can also be done easily from here. So inside the book add controller, notebook add controller, inside this book list controller, we have this part which we will call for edit option. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a listener for the stage, stage dot set on close request so this is a very beautiful callback i mean when we close a stage this will be called so <clears throat> i can use a lambda function here so when they when we are closing that edit option we are actually calling this uh, in this part of the program will be executed i mean this much code will be executed so then what i'm going to do is i'm going to call the refresh option so i have the handle refresh method so i'm going to call this handle refresh method from here i can't call it so let's see i need action event so new action event so that's it now let us run the program again gc root view books and i am going to change something like uh, 
in Dan Brown Joe, I'm setting that everything to normal. Dan Brown origin v101. Then I'm going to press on save and book is updated. And if I close this window, you can see that it automatically updated because of that listener. So that's how you refresh uh, the table. So as always, thank you for watching this video, guys. Like the video if you like it and subscribe for more cool videos.